What is up YouTube? Welcome back to... Welcome back to... This is the first part of... What am I talking about? I'm Rob the Under Gamer. Hello and welcome to the first part in a new Let's Play of The Lord of the Rings Online. Yes, this is Turbine's free-to-play MMO set in the wonderful world of Middle-earth. Uh, all based off of J.R. Tolkien's works. The amazing, amazing mind... Of, uh, of Tolkien and the world of Middle Earth, and this is Lord of the Rings Online, set during the times of the Lord of the Rings and stuff. And this is an MMO, a multi massive multiplayer online RPG game thing where you get to play as an adventurer, as a character, and mark your own story in the world of Middle Earth and hopefully help towards the ring and shit like that. But yes, this is Lord of the Rings Online, welcome. Uh, first things first. Being a massively multiplayer online game, there's lots of different races to choose from and stuff. So obviously we've got men, we've got dwarves, of which you can only be a male. A male, I said that really weird, male dwarf. There's also hobbitsies. Look at him, all cute and small. And again, small. An elf. And stuff stuff and things and yeah it's good so we're gonna go back to men for now and I'm gonna explain to you guys uh, hopefully some of the classes that are within this game I mean obviously there's the typical classes that you get within all MMOs and this is like that but you know every, every MMO is different every MMO has got a different name for a class or they do slightly something slightly different but anyway we're gonna go to burglar a burglar rabbit a burglar rabbit Burglars are basically your stealthy, sneaky, sneaky, rogue type thief class. And um, they can turn invisible and things and such. Uh, but primarily they are a support class. Uh, but they can, they're a, a debuffer and they're also good for crowd control um, and a DPS melee class if you're into that sort of thing. Go back to man. And then there's Captain. Um, oh, burglars can be played, by the way, by hobbits and men, so as you know. Captains? Captains. Captains are sort of, um, they're sort of a tank class, but they're not, they're, they're more of a support class. But they have, they, they can use all types of weapons. They're also got a pretty cool little, um, uh, sort of, uh, skill where they can summon an NPC, who can be by their side, and I, I think these NPCs can do different things, they can give different buffs, um, different support, uh, maybe even heal, I'm not entirely sure, but they can do that sort of thing. Uh, but primarily, captains are a support class, and uh, a buffer class primarily, in, in the uh, confines of a party. We're going to go to champion now, oh, and captains can be played by men, and that's it. Champions. Champions um, are a bit more of a all-rounder. They're real powerful, heavy armoured, melee combat. You can use pretty much all weapons. Tank class, um, but m mainly mainly more damage than a, a full-on full-on tank type class. Um, but champions, uh, yes, yeah, about it really. They're, they're more they're more a damage dealer dealer type class. Alright, go to Guardian. Now they can be played by man and elves, and I think uh, a champion is what I is going to be. Uh, but here we go. We've got the Guardian. Guardians are the tank class, uh, and they are obviously a shield and sword sort of combo, defensive heavy armour type class. Um, I'm sure they can use a more array of different weapons and such and such and things. Uh, but yes, they're primarily a tank and um, damage dealer, really. That's all they are. And they can be played by none other than pretty much every class or every race, sorry, in the game. Next, we've got the Hunter. Uh, hunter is your ranged combat -y person. They are a damage dealer. And a sort of crowd control type person. Uh, but they've also got one really cool thing about them. Is that they can have a pet. Yes, a bit like World of Warcraft. Um, but we won't go into that. But yeah, they can have a pet which can do all sorts of shenanigans for them. And uh, hunters can be played by every race in the game as well. 
Next up, we got a Lawmaster, which is one of the first um, sort of mage type classes. Lawmasters are a support class primarily. Um, they uh, have got um, sort of some unique elemental abilities, uh, as well as they've got a really unique ability of being able to summon animals to their sort of aid. And that each animal's got their own like unique thing about them, which gives um, either the party a buff or gives the lawmaster a buff. Uh, they they can help with um, spell casting or damage. They can be like a literal melee sort of tank type um, animal pet thing. Uh, but yeah, lawmaster's primarily sort of crowd control and debuffer class, uh, as well as being a healer and buffer and obviously damage dealing. Now next we've got a minstrel, sorry, lore mask can be played by man and elf as well. Minstrels. Minstrels are your healer class. Basically they use sort of like the um, ancient magic of song, uh, which is pretty cool. You know, that you can be playing a spell and they're like, they whack out a loot or something. They start strumming away, ripping out some riffs. It's, it's pretty cool. But yeah, they're primarily a healing class. Uh, they can be played by all races as well in the game. And uh, they're a good um, sort of crowd. They can crowd control or help with crowd control. And they're also a fairly good buffer class. You know, th it's not just healing. A lot of their spell, minstrel spells can um, help with buffing and shit, as I've said. Uh, now, Runekeeper, which we can't actually click on, is one of the... Uh, classes that you unlock when you pay monthly for the Lord of the Rings Online, which you can do, which gives you a fair few nice bonuses and stuff. But it is in no no means, um, but but by no means is it necessary to pay monthly for the Lord of the Rings Online. You can quite go happily along uh, without paying anything for this game, which is great. You know, it doesn't force it upon you. But uh, Runekeeper is another. Ma um, mage type class, uh, heavy um, like influence on sort of elemental castings, but they can also be a healer class as well, which is you know it's cool. That most of these um, magic users can be sort of all rounders, uh, but they're primarily sort of ranged DPS and a healer class. Uh, but they can also do debuffing and uh, sort of AOE type damage, but they can be played by a dwarf and an elf, runekeepers can, and warden, which I think we can click on, um, which is weird, we can't cl cl click on runekeeper, but yes, this is another one you have to unlock via paying monthly or what have you, but wardens are another um, tank class, massive defence, and obviously they, they wield shield and javelins or spears, and uh, can be played by elves, hobbits and men, but they are, they are your... Um, tank class, they are another option for tank and defence class so, you know, heavy armour take a lot of damage, what have you but yes, we are going to go for now I've explained that, we're going to do what get into our character creation which, one thing I love about the Lord of the Rings Online it's got quite an extensive character creation which is cool, but yeah as I said, we're going to be a champion and hopefully wield a two-handed sword, because I like that sort of thing. We might as well play a movie, actually, that we've got of the class. Ooh. Of course. Yes. Ah! You bastards. See, thinking about it now, viewers, I could have just played all these movies, and you'd have had a good idea of everything. But I wanted to do it properly, okay? But here we go. Um, we This is your customization. Basically, uh, we're going to go to select origin first. Uh, you can choose the origin where your elf comes from within the world of Middle-earth. Uh, so you've got Lindon. Uh, you hail from Lindon, the green elf, uh, green lands of the elves between Ered Luin and the sea, where Gilgalad, who is like awesome, by the way, was the last great elf king. Uh, Gilglad was actually seen in the Fellowship of the Ring, uh, right in the prologue bit, in the battle of the, um, or well, the Last Alliance battle. He's the one that stabs a orc with his spear and then looks up, going, "Ugh!" Yeah. So watch that out. Watch out for that. Yeah. But he didn't play a main part, integral role, because he's not alive then. But anyway, right. So we've got Lindon. We've got Lorien, which, if you've seen the films or read the books, 
you know about any well you should know about all of these anyway if you've read the books but Lorien is where Galadriel hails from there we go yeah the Lady Galadriel Mirkwood which I think is where I'm going to be from because the hobbits and stuff and it's awesome and Mirkwood's quite a dark wood and like wood elves and awesomeness it's really cool i like mirkwood except for the spiders but anyway uh you are a wood elf of mirkwood once called the greenwood uh the great where the great greenwood the great god damn it where king thranduil keeps watch against the growing darkness of dal Guldur, former stronghold of sauron in his guise, the necromancer. Yeah, that's a bit of a teaser there for your Hobbit fans or people who've just read the books. What I don't know. Anyway, Rivendell, Elrond, and Arwen, and people like that come from. And then Ed Helond. Uh, you are of the Nandor of Ed Helond, the great elf haven of the south, built by the Am by Amroth upon the Bay of Belfalas. Yeah, if you if you're into Tolkien and you know shit about Tolkien, then you'll understand all that. If not, good luck. But hopefully we're going to enter my name, and hopefully I'll be able to take this name. Uh, but we're going to call my character Gilgalad. Not like the Gilgalad from Lindon, the king, but my um, character in my LARPing, who sadly died, I might add. But anyway, um, yeah, we got we, it's quite an extensive customization um, in this game, which is cool. Um, a lot of things but one thing I love as well you know just in case you accidentally click randomize or something or you can click randomize to see whatever but you can lock certain aspects of the customization which is cool so I don't know what kind of head we're gonna go for I, I generally with these things I try and make my character look a little bit or as best as I can like myself if at all possible um, we'll go with that I don't know. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. Hairstyle. Gotta have a long hairstyle. Otherwise, what are you doing? Is that an, an alright one? No. <laughs> no. No. Generally, there's only... I think there's only a few decent actual hairstyles in this game. Personally. Um, I just think some of the elf ones just get worse and worse and worse, in my opinion. Like, what's that all about? That's really weird. And he's all shaved there. Anyway. But yeah, um I think I'm probably gonna go with one of the over the first one. If I get to it. Uh, but there's one that looks a little bit like that as well. Where is it? There it is. So we can either have tucked behind the ear or in front of the ear like that. What do we reckon, viewers? Hmm. I quite like that. Uh, no, no, I don't actually. We're gonna have there. We go. We're gonna have that locked. Okay, eye options. What eyes we got? Oh, that's like eye makeup. So he can have eyeliner on or not. I wear eyeliner, so we're gonna do the eyeliner. We're not gonna have it as extensive as that. Uh, maybe that. Yeah. Why not? There we go. Eyebrows. Um, I've got fairly thick eyebrows, I think. So let's find fairly thick eyebrows. I think number one is alright. That's number two. Option one. Is that an option we can go with, viewers? I don't know. Probably not. Um, he looks a bit too angry there. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're going to go with number one. I think, viewers, there we go. Number one. Alright, mouth. Mouth options. What mouth we got? Some weird mouths here. Is it just me, or they seem to just be going in different colours? They're not sort of like changing inside. That's more natural look, isn't it? We don't want to look like a whore, you know, viewers. <laughs> uh, we're not. We're not gonna. We're not gonna have a tiara. Oh, we got. We got blue. Well, we got sort of got bluey greeny eyes. So we're gonna have in between. They're grey. They're grey eyes. Um, dark blue. We'll do dark blue because I got sort of dark blue eyes. Greeny blue. In my eyes. My eyes are weird, viewers. Um. What sort of skin colour are we going to be? Don't want to be really pale, but we don't want to look too tanned, because I'm quite a pale person. So, I think that's alright. And hair colour? I've got a fairly dark brown hair colour. That's a bit too black. There we go. That's about right-ish. There we go. I think that's cool. And body type. Let's see if we can zoom out of here, actually. There we go. So, what are we going to do? We're going to be built, or we can be slightly skinny. We're going to do sort of in-between... Because uh, I'll let you into a little secret, viewers. I'm currently working out slightly on my physique. 
trying to make myself look handsome. But yeah, that's really embarrassing to say. But yeah, no, so that's, that's I think, alright. I look pretty damn smexy. Yeah, okay, let's create this bad boy. Oh, and we can have Gilgalad as a character now. It's brilliant. And yes, I was playing around with this. And that's my other character, Dulgalad. <laughs> yes, he's a lore master. But anyway, Gilgalad, elf champion. Let's start going to enters Middle Earths. Oh. So yes, as I said, in this Let's Play, hopefully we'll um, just sort of go about exploring Middle Earth and being a massive nerd in Middle Earth, which is always good. Um, but also teach some people about the Lord of the Rings online and hopefully get a few bit more interest in it maybe because uh, of all the th you know of all the free to play MMOs it's probably one of the best but probably one of the sort of least touched on uh, but definitely if you're a fan of Tolkien Middle Earth Lord of the Rings it's definitely great to check out especially when you get to see and explore things that you've read in the books or um, you've seen in the movies you know places uh, like Bree for example or even Hobbiton uh, Rivendell, uh, you know, really cool places like that. But hopefully we get to learn the mechanics and stuff. And um, I've not played this game for you. Oh no! The bastards! Okay, so we're going to use the normal keys to move around with, but yeah. Oh, oh, here we go, and we can change our camera view by clicking the mouse buttons and stuff. That's really interesting. But yeah, I've not played this game for years. I used to play this game years ago when it was pay-to-play. So uh, there's a lot of things that have actually changed in the game. But this is Elrond. You cannot tarry here any longer, Gilgalad. Scorgrim's forces are upon us, and I fear they make straight for this library. He seeks the relics of Ed Helion, though I do not know what a dwarf could want with them. These relics were once coveted by a gaunt lord of old. I think the fool believes he can become immortal as he, if, if he acquires them. That's my Elrond voice for you guys, viewers. But yeah, here we go. So we got some loot. Satchel. What's in this satchel? Oh, we got a rusted longsword and a knife. I'm going to loot all of that. Um, press the C key, and that'll be our inventory. But the funny thing is we've already got... Oh, it's a dull knife. Yeah, we can we can swap that out. Press B. That does nothing that I want it to. Oh, oh dear. Okay, here we go. Bag. Oh, that's uh, open bag one. don't know what the shortcut is for that. But yeah, we're going to equip these. Uh, these, a dull knife. And that's just a right click on there, viewers. What's that? That's the knife. Oh, I want to swap hands, actually. There we go. And then put that one in the other. There we go. Okay. So I'm right-handed, viewers. Right-handed. Okay. Right, let's talk to Elrond. Cool. Your master, Talagan, wishes to see you before you venture out into the fray. But do hurry, this place is not safe for you. Right, assessing your inventory, press IRI. -R -I. Okay, that's how you bring up the bags, which you've got three of, which is really nice to sort of do, just like straight away, I think. Quick bit equip, equipping, equipping your weapons. Uh, right click on the weapon. We've already done that, so that's cool. Let's continue the quest. Oh, damn, you're moving. You're moving fast. You're moving and you're grooving. Okay, I don't even know. Oh, hello. Oh, there he is. Talagan Silvertongue. Gilglad, my dear student. I wish I could let you stay safe within these walls, but Elrond tells me that Scorgrim makes straight for the library. You must survive the battle outside, I'm afraid. Oh, so I read that wrong. You must survive the battle outside, I'm afraid. Uh, I worry for you. Duel with me one last time, my friend, and show me that you are ready. I will e it will ease my heart. All right, dude, let's... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you. We're, we're ready. We're more than ready. Okay, here we go. Doing doing an attack here, whatever that is. That's Blade Wall. You make a frontal area of effect. What's this one? Wild Attack. Bamf. Make a powerful melee attack. What is oh, okay. I, I've bested him. That's fine. The ground starts to shake violently and a great sound crashing can be heard from outside. Oh, no. 
cool. Okay, no time to waste, Google Ad. Uh, go outside with Talagan and see what can be done to stop Scorgrim from advancing. The Dower Hands cannot be allowed to take the Gaunt Lord's relics. I have vowed to keep them safe. I will hide the relics, then I will join Talagan in protecting the library. Be safe, young champion. Right, let's do this. Rock and roll. Okay. Here we go. Okay, quests and quest rings. Uh, many characters, even objects, will offer quests and information. Right click anyone or anything on the right with the ring icon uh, to receive an advanced quest. Blue ring quests tell you that NPCs may be helpful, reminders of what you need to be doing. Epic story quests will have a flaming ring to signify the importance of the quests. Well, if you've got a flaming ring... Oh, damn. Go, Gilglad. This is where the storm will converge. Ed Helben is down below. He will let you through the gate and protect what is left to protect what is left of this refuge. Right, okay. Right. Oh man, I see all these elves just on the floor. Okay, let's just go down here then. Ugh. Come Gilglad, quickly. Alright mate, let's do it, let's rock and roll, where are we going? Where's the fire? Oh shit, is that a troll? That is a troll. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, I'm level one, yo. I can't be taken on a troll. You're glad we cannot tarry. Yeah, I know, dude. Let's go. Oh, what was that? Come this way. God, that the the screen just got all serious then for a second. That was weird. Open up the door. Open the door. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Defeat the Dower Hand Invaders. Let's do it. Okay. Hey, what's up, fool? I'm going to get you with a wild attack and then a blade wall. Oh, damn. Experience and leveling up. When you defeat enemies and complete quests, you gain experience and you level up. That was a short brief for that, viewers. It's like any typical MMO, really, to be honest, you know? There's another dude there. We're going to use this. What's that third attack? Swift Strike. Cool. Blade Wall. Ha <laughs> ha. Another one there. Come to my blade, elf. You come to mine, you fool. Oh, you got son. Three out of five. The relics are ours. No. No, they ain't. Not today. Shabba. Cool. I am broken. Yeah, because I broke your face. Here we go. Oh, messing around with the camera. That was going on. <laughs> Movement's quite sensitive in this game. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey. Go on. I'm glad you survived the ma this massacre. Alas. This is not the way. Oh, God. Scorgrim has shown himself yet. Much as the bada bada. I can't read what you're saying, dude. Tell me, though. What news do you bring? Ah, I fear for... Oh, I fear for Ed Hellion. How much more can we withstand? And I hear that Scorgrim has not even shown himself yet, which means the worst is yet to come. Well, bring it on. What is going on with the damn ground? She's getting... Oh, that's that troll. Come, go glad the final battle is at hand. Prepare yourself. The gate will not hold for long. All right, all right, we're facing a troll. Let's do it. Drama. Many stories in Middle Earth will unfold upon your. Oh snap! It's a snow troll. Okay, this is clearly like a cutscene of of sorts. Fall beast. Oh, that is awesome. It's Elrond there, being a bamf. Dorongur, come, Talagan, alone defends the library. He sent me to save Gilgalad. Hey, I wasn't in no trouble. To be fair, I probably wouldn't have standed long against that um, snow troll. Stand aside, elf. That's Talagan. The relics are mine. Never! Whoa, what are you doing, dude? Stop him! Oh, shit! Talagan! What a legend. Oh my god, he sacrificed himself for the relics. 
This is a sad day. I wish I returned, but a few moments later. Talagan wished for you to be safe, Gilglad, and the relics are now buried with him. You blaming this on me? Alas, Gilglad, you have lost your beloved master. You may blame me for his death. I could have saved him, but he bade me to go for you instead. Talagan was brave to spare your young life. My young life! Edhelion is ruined now. Talagan was not the only elf to die today. Scorgrim will trouble us no more, and the relics are bur safely buried. But it was such a needless battle. Edhelion will fade. Let's finish that quest now. Cutscene. Ah, awesome! Those two are legends. If you've played The Lord of the Rings War in the North, obviously they play a big part in that. Um, as as sort of characters, which is cool. The War in the North is an awesome game. One of the best, if not the best, Lord of the Rings game. Ah, <coughs> choking on my tea! <coughs> choking on my tea! But yeah! After I stopped coughing. How embarrassing. Welcome. Well, here we go. That is it, viewers, really, for the first part of Let's Play The Lord of the Rings Online. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I hope you are going to continue watching Gilgalad and my, or my and Gilgalad's adventures in the wonderful world of Middle-earth as we, you know, find out what what's next to do. Elrond senses a trouble a brewing, and we're going to sort it out for him. What? What? Surely, Scorgrim's dead. He can't be any more possible threat to us. But I suppose you'll have to find out next time in Let's Play The Lord of the Rings Online. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Rob the Undead Gamer. And we'll talk to this dwarf bastard in a minute. Or in the next episode. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.